Swarms of stinging jellyfish filling the waters of the eastern Mediterranean Sea. But they're not supposed to be here. These nomad jellyfish are from the Indian Ocean, thousands of miles away. Marine biologist Bella Galil says they came here through the Suez Canal, a symptom of a much larger problem that could get worse with the canal's expansion. We have this corridor pushing in all the alien species. We just push them out and replace them with a fauna which is not a native one. Take, for example, the rabbit fish. It eats only algae, which sounds innocent enough, but it gets its name because it reproduces like, well, a rabbit. And enormous schools of rabbit fish eat all the algae in a habitat. The habitat is like a cut forest. Nothing could exist, and those species lose their place in the Mediterranean. Galil says the enlarged Suez Canal is becoming a highway for invasive species to pass through. It's like a corridor for invasion, a, a one-way corridor of invasion. Galil says the invasive species are opportunists, disrupting the food chain and changing the underwater environment. There used to be a natural barrier in the Suez Canal, a barrier of extra salty water that kept marine life from passing from the Red Sea to here in the Mediterranean Sea. The expanded Suez has done away with that natural barrier, making it much easier for marine life to pass. Some of the invasive species are beautiful, like the devil firefish, colorful but venomous. And this, the slow-swimming crab, was one of the first invasive species that came through the Suez, documented first in 1898. Chagai Nativ makes a living filming these creatures. For me, it's more colorful, uh, more colors under the water. And as a photographer, and uh, as an underwater photographer, for me, it's a present. But it's no gift to the ecological balance of the Mediterranean Sea, which can't adjust as fast to the changing world around it. Orrin Lieberman, CNN Haifa.